Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech. In this video, it's going to be about the Sony Bravia KDL LCD TV error codes, red blinking light, and what do they mean, and possible solutions. Now, I uh, went all over the internet, forums, blogs, and uh, even the Sony support, and found out what uh, these codes mean and possible solutions, and if they actually really worked for other people, according to the forums and blogs. So anyhow, um, let me go ahead and uh, explain, starting with, uh, oh, always first try a power reset, by the way. That's probably the most common thing to fix your TV, especially if your TV is glitched or had, like, you know, power went on and off and just confused the main, uh, main logic board. You know, just power cycling the TV may fix your TV. And when I was fixing TVs for Best Buy up in New York, um, a lot of times I just go inside the house, unplug the TV for one minute, plugged it back in, it worked. Um, also, and factory reset and updating with a USB drive can fix your TV. So starting with uh, zero uh, standby light. So if your TV on the front panel of your TV and that um, red standby light is not there, you don't see any red standby light, it can be bad main uh, logic board or bad power board. Because if you have no power going to the main logic board, you're not going to get the standby light. Now, standby light usually is plugged into the main logic board. Um, it indicates that you have 3.3 volts, or sometimes some TVs is uh, 5 volt standby voltage. So it's sometimes labeled on the power board, standby volts. And if you use your voltmeter, you should be reading standby volts, whether it's 5 volts or 3.3 volts. So check your standby volts. If your standby volts are good, then you most likely have a bad main logic board. If you have no standby volts, uh, check your power cord or your power board. Next is uh, one blink. Well, Sony doesn't use one blink, so skip over that. Uh, two red flashes on the front panel uh, can be a failure in the power board. So you can check your capacitors, your diodes, your transistors on a heat sink. But usually replacing the power board will fix your uh, issue. And uh, power board is about like 50 bucks on, you can get it at shopjimmy.com or Amazon, eBay. But make sure you get a warranty with the board. So, uh, and then moving on to three red flashes. So if you get three red flashes, pauses, and then you get three red flashes again, it keeps on cycling that, then uh, focus, uh, that's it could be an error on the bad, uh, let me see, where am I? Bad main logic board or power board. And you have to check your voltage again, your standby voltage. And if your voltage is okay and you have a steady 3.3 volts or 5 volts standby, then uh, focus on the uh, main logic board. All right, so four red blinks on the uh, front panel could be a defective LD board or a main logic board. You can also check your inverter board for loose wires or um, poor insulation causing arcing to ground. And um, it could be like a white and pink wire arcing, arcing to ground or something on the inverter board that's arcing to ground. And you just basically, um, yeah, uh, you can use any kind of insulation to stop that arcing. Like, um, you know, electrical tape will be a, a nice insulator. Uh, what else? Well, we're moving on to five red flashes. So five red flashes will be uh, a bad LCD panel connection or internal LCD short. So you go squeeze around the bezel, the frame around the Sony TV to locate the bad connection. Uh, usually if it's something like that, there's a short in LCD, then that's too expensive to repair. And it would probably be in your best interest to look for another, another TV. Or if you want to get a second opinion, you get a free estimate at a TV shop and you can drop it off at a TV shop and they can verify if it, if it is for sure that problem. Uh, what else? So six red flashes can be a backlight issue, bad main logic board, bad power board, or bad inverter board. <laughs> Pretty much all the boards. Except for the uh, when I didn't mention the TCOM board. You can check your standby voltage on the power board, and there's a backlight on 
um, it's labeled backlight on, or it could be BL on, and it should be labeled on your power board. And if you don't have voltage to that, it's usually, I think, 3 or 5 volts. That gives um, a signal from the main logic board to the power board that allow the backlight to turn on. And you should be uh, getting 24 volts to your inverter board. So if all your voltages are like pretty good on your power board and the TV isn't like glowing and it's not lighting up, then it can be a bad inverter board, which controls the backlight, which gives you the glow on the TV. Next, seven red flashes. Seven red flashes could be a um, main board overheating, and the main board could be overheating because it was a bad part on the main logic board, or uh, there could be a short on the power board going into the wires to the main logic board, causing the main logic board to overheat. So it could be uh, one or the other, or both. So you have to first locate and see if... Um, you know, it's kind of hard. Sometimes it's an IC or a diode or transistor, but find out where the short is coming from. If you can't, then, you know, the power board will probably be the most common, and then the main logic board. Red flashes. Eight red flashes, sorry. Um, can be a bad main logic board. Again, you can try a power reset. Um, you could do the update with a USB drive, and you know, or you could just, uh, if that doesn't work, you could replace the main logic board, and that usually fixes the issue. But always try the power cycle, power reset. Uh, nine blinks, you know, that can be a fan error if your TV has fans. So like some of the older TVs, LCD TVs, had fans, and if they uh, stopped working, then it could cause a load and cause it, um, a problem with the circuit. So check your fans, clean them, replace them if you have to, check your uh, wiring, and hopefully that will fix your problem. Ten blinks can be a digital board or the tuning board, tuner board. Uh, some TVs don't have this board, so it's a smaller logic board that's um, usually near the main logic board. Uh, so replacing that board or checking your connections may fix it. Eleven red flashes on your front panel. Uh, could be a bad main logic board also as well. Uh, I heard that uh, there's a bad IC located on that board, but if you can't locate the IC or you can't see any uh, burn ICs, then you could replace the main logic board and it should fix your issue. 12 red flashing lights uh, can be a T-con error or bad LCD panel. Now, I would um, try to replace the TCOM board. Check your TCOM connections, the cable connections. The TCOM board is directly connected to the LCD panel with uh, ribbon connections. Um, that basically is, um, it, it gives you the picture on your LCD t uh, TV, the image, basically. So if you have a distorted picture or you have no picture at all, you can check your TCOM board. But usually uh, replacing the TCOM board fixes that issue. And that's for the 12 blinking lights. 13 blinking lights is a backlight error, a ballast error, or a bad inverted boards. And in my case, in my experience, it, replacing the inverted boards fixed the issue. It can be a, a bad mean logic board also as well, but uh, not for me. Now, now it wasn't too common for me. Uh, 14 red blinks bad TCOM board or bad LCD panel. Again, if you, um, you know, <clears throat> check your connections, hopefully that'll fix your problem, but I would um, replace the TCOM board. That should fix your issue, but there is cases where um, it was a bad LCD panel, which is not really, uh, it's too expensive to fix, and I would probably look and investigate, you know, buy another TV perhaps. Um, Oh, here's another way to troubleshoot it, by the way. If you unplug the TCOM board, unplug the TV first, the power cord, and then unplug the TCOM board out of circuit, plug the power cord back in. If the TV powers on and stays on without shutting down and giving you an error code, then it's most likely the TCOM board that was defective. So order that TCOM board. Also, I posted some pictures right here. Um, some more um, different uh, model Sony TV models with the error codes 
what they mean, uh, a picture of how to identify the boards, and uh, that should help help you out even further. So let me know if this video worked out for you. If it was helpful, give me, give me a thumbs up. That helps me out. If you know anyone this video may help, uh, click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G+, or even your tech blog if you have one. And subscribe to Tampa Tech for more tech reviews like this. Later, guys.